how do you buy an old car from a woman who loves cats and has been told her Mustang is worth far more than it really is? What's your, what's your cat's name? That is Fox. This is, this is Fufu. This is Fox. The answer is maybe you don't. Instead, maybe you end up being a good neighbor and helping her out in the best way you can. What do you think you're going to do? Find something to eat in there? This started with a phone call from a mutual friend, Linda, and an invite to see the old car. I explained I'm an auto writer and she's okay with me doing a video. I was talking to a friend of mine called me, you know, Linda. She said you were wanting to maybe sell it or fix it up or she right. said thought maybe I could help you with it right. some way. I yeah. mean, uh, tell me about the car. I mean, she told uh, me that belong it belonged to my son and I lost him in 2006. He loved racing, loved Mustangs, black Mustangs. Well, anyway, uh, what was your name again? Malia. Malia, mm -hmm. okay. Well, let's go out and look at it. The paint, to me, looked like it might buff out, but this car was fading fast out there in the West Texas heat. That looks like a, a Steeda emblem on the hood. Yes, that's what it should be. It's a Steeda hood and a Steeda fin, which my boys used to say, it's not called a, a fin, don't call it a fin. It's a spoiler. One this big we call a bird bath. It's sure not stock. And that body would look even more dusty if that wind didn't whistle through here like that fire truck right it. here in the background. Here. But right now it's just sitting there. It doesn't run right now. It runs, but it needs keys and it needs a uh, battery. Oh, you don't know where the keys are? No, I don't have the keys. Looks like you've got something on the steering wheel. Can we pull that off yes, and take sure, a look? Sure. Okay. Well, that helps protect the dash, right? Yes, from... and there's one for the entire car. Wow, nice interior. <laughs> But no keys means you can't lock the car and look, somebody helped themselves to that shifter handle. Yeah. Those seats really look nice. They're, Go here. I think they should be the originals. I don't know. Let's see, yeah, there's probably a, probably need to pop the hood. I don't know if... Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. I think I heard it pop. Okay, got it. Well, Leah kind of knew her way around this car. She just didn't know exactly what do you know what year it is or model or yes, anything? Yes, it's 1988. And is it a GT? Is it a... It's a Cobra JBA. Well, no such thing, but you can see where she'd get that idea. The, the cat danced across this Cobra aftermarket intake, which Ford did make a Cobra in 88. A JBA decal is on the rear deck lid and there's one on each front fender below that little Mustang running horse emblem that came off a 94 Mustang. Retired persons on a social security check under a grand don't usually restore classic Mustangs. Those front fenders just begged for a set of those famous 5.0 badges that are stock. I mean, we couldn't resist. They love going in this old garage. And I come in here and go, you have that smell, that oh, old smell. Oh, yeah, wow. Malia thought the original rear spoiler was in the old garage. We found the original airbox filtration system stored neatly in this old cardboard box. And My brother said when they were young, it's a real one. That's cool. <laughs> then look, here's an antique sled, uh, 1984 Oklahoma license plate. Where, probably where she lived in Bixby, Oklahoma, but she was raised in this old house. And a hubcap. Oh, is that a Mercury? So, time to get a hold of Jason White of Jason White Customs and Restorations in Hereford, Texas. Well, we're going to change these posts out to the top post and put the right battery in this thing and see if we can get it, get it started. But this was no simple jump start. First big problem, that old alarm system. And you always had to have two sets of keys because it'd roll up the windows and lock the doors. Second big problem, no keys. Jason purchased a pick lock kit off eBay to get those tumblers in place so he could turn the ignition switch. I want to put some fresh fuel in it and we'll see if that thing starts. Yeah. On these particular cars, also you have to have the battery connected to open the gas door. They have a 
gas door pop in the glove box. All right, we'll see if it starts. <laughs> Here it goes. Ooh, watch the cats. Uh, something with the alarm's got to cut off. Oh no. So we'll have to figure what that is. Look at that. How long this is set. <laughs> Dirt and dust and I said, come on, Bony Dale, you can start. <laughs> Let's get you to somebody to sit in it and push the clutch in where it won't go nowhere else. Push the clutch in? Yeah. Got it. I'll make sure it's out of gear on it. Make sure it's in neutral. There we go. Right. Yeah. Now you should be able to let off the clutch now. It's not okay. going nowhere. I hope I have it in neutral. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow. After this reaction, just starting up the old car. <laughs> what if we put this car in Jason's shop? and did a bunch of how-to magazine articles with it. Something we do all the time with other cars. We just use this car instead. Oh, uh, didn't it sound good? So, we get this car looking a whole lot better. I mean, this lady's going to be bouncing off the walls when she sees it. I had to jump the solenoid to start it because the uh, alarm system has something tripped. It's either with the neutral safety switch or it's cutting the ignition off. But we just jumped the, the solenoid with the key on it and started right up. That sounds all right. No mechanical problems or nothing. Just sounds a little rough from bad gas. I'm telling you, this Jason White is like the Fox Body Mustang expert and restorer of the world. We're going to do some tweaking and do some changes on it to where it's more reliable and easier idle, where you can drive in traffic and it's not going to die on you or anything oh, like yeah. that. I wouldn't want Make sure the air conditioning works and yeah. you know stuff like that. It did before, so I don't know if it's still going oh, well, or not. Sure. It kicks on right now. You're working? No, it didn't kick. Oh, it may just need to be charged. Yeah, you'll definitely need air conditioning. We'll definitely take that alarm system off so you won't have problems with that. Okay, the touchy question. What does Malia think her car is worth, and does she want to sell it? When I hear it, and I'm sitting in it, I don't want to sell it. But... When I'm thinking I need another vehicle to last me maybe the rest of my life. Um, this is her only car. She depends upon friends to get her around. I might need to sell it. Yeah, I understand. But I definitely need to know what it's worth. Because the guy across the street told me he would he would pay me ten grand for it. But my daughter told me don't take that because we have a friend up here that saw it and when he went to a choice funeral with them and he said he'd give her give us 15 for it so i don't know you know what i mean well, both of those offers are huge huge amount of money for a 88 fox body gt is it yes see i didn't know i have no clue that is a very large amount for that what do you think it's worth, Jason? Like it is? Uh, like it is, about 5,000 tops. If it was fixed up immaculately, probably 10, 15 range. With new paint, everything restored, 10, 15 tops. Now tell her why about people when they make offers, tell her what goes on there, because we hear this all the time. I mean, kind of get into that a little bit. Like, you know, somebody offers you 10, is that real money? Will they really give it and yeah, all that? right. It comes down that if they really have it, they may just be seeing if you're going to sell it or right. let it go so they throw out a big number. Well, what? I recently bought a extremely low mileage 93 mm -hmm. LX 5 liter that's a very rare color. Wow. It had 60,000 miles on it and I gave $4,000 for it. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. The car needed a set of keys and that old alarm system removed. 
minimum. Well, yeah. after we, we fix it up and clean it up, you keep it and it should be plenty reliable. You drive where you want and it'd be worth more than it is now. Right. <laughs> so exactly. you can either sell it or keep it. Sounds good to me. <laughs> No. But I'm glad you tell me that because, see, I didn't know what it was worth. But I'm going to get on your Facebook and look at your car. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, I, I kind of thought that, but I didn't, I hate to, you know, I'm not into him like he is. Yeah. You know. And you don't want to burst somebody's bubble. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but reality right. is reality. Real, that's right. Yeah, because you, you, you need to know what it truly worth exactly. so that somebody don't try to basically rip you off exactly. and you know when you're getting a good deal when you're not. So we're all loaded up and kind of enthused to get the car and see what we can do with it. But after two to three weeks talking about the car, Malia finally opened up about the house. I stay over at Donna's a lot though. Well, what is wrong with your water pipes, do you know? There was this other problem that I, I wasn't sure how how this affected us. Or... Yes, I have three uh, places that it just froze and blew out. Blow out? Now that's not a good word for cars or houses. And some of it is that old, it's white, and then the inside is that chalky stuff that... Uh... Chalky? Well... We have chalky paint and now we have chalky pipes. This time, Jason couldn't get the tumblers to line up with that pick lock kit so he could turn the ignition switch. Oh, it's kind of an orange, like an Indian bow, like they used to make pottery. And that's not gonna hold. So, he'd have to elevate the front end and use the wheels of that jack to turn the car and then we pushed it into the shop. Well, so you know where the problem is. Yes. Just the pipes froze and they broke. Yes. Was it in the kitchen or where? Kitchen. Well, first it was in the it was in the hot water heater. Saving dust off the old car. Sometimes I think about selling the dirt to pay forward the next car. How long since you think this thing's been cleaned? <laughs> I said it's been sitting for three years, so I guess it's about three years of dust build up on it. Yeah, and it was in stories for 10 years before yeah. that. Just love to see that old dust and dirt come off. It's a little rust right here? Yeah, this one's a... Uh, West Texas dust and a little rust. Well, that come Just out? a flat black. You think that'll uh, buff out that rust? I don't know. Well, I'll paint that. People told me not to get too involved in this, but did you see that rainbow? She thinks we're just going to get it started and kind of maybe clean it up and get it running. It's the late model restoration, 79 through 93 Mustang Fox body catalog. Here's the owner of LMR, Shannon Guderian. He loves to club race his Mustangs. There's so much dirt under the moldings and stuff. You can see all the dirt in this car. Under each rear quarter window that needed replaced. We took the moldings off and tons of dirt. I've watched this car about three, four times trying to get all the dirt. Shannon has sent me parts for magazine articles for years, so... Shannon said he didn't care if he got one view, he wanted to help. Yeah, he just wanted to help. So, he, he's a heck of a guy. So, when we got the okay for the parts, that pretty much put our project here into high gear. Leafing through that catalog from LMR, Jason ordered most of the parts we needed to build our car. Here's one thing. New ignition switch. So, it's it's got a key for it now the lock cylinder is all set up we found new quarter windows right here in the lmr catalog all these boxes of parts here we got new quarter windows we had to remove exterior parts before we could start buffing the paint pushing those out and it is kind of nasty you have to pull the whole interior out to change out the quarter windows especially the back panels and everything i pulled everything out scrubbed everything up once we replace the quarter windows, then we put all the interior back up back. But before we start buffing, we gotta get all the stuff off the car. Including those side moldings, the door top molding, and the rear quarter windows. 
Of course, you got to take off those old body decals, like with this 3M vinyl eraser, if you expect to buff out the entire body real good. That black paint looked real chalky. But when we got through... Everybody's going to think it's been repainted. Meanwhile, Jason kept pulling parts out of those LMR boxes. New weather stripping for the whole car. Hatch, door, inside belt. Now the doors and the hatch. Got the new, new cow panel. Inside mirror covers. Yeah, we got the new roof rail moldings. New belt moldings. And we got some uh, new shocks for the hatch to hold it up. Join off a little bit. It snaps on. That's one side. The ashtray in there anywhere? Yeah, they actually have a kit right here. Oh, here it is? Repair kit. It won't stay shut when you open it. It just flops back. This one has a broken spring, but the hinge is actually seems like it's pretty steady. All this to put a little spring in, huh? Yeah, now that I've got it out, it does have a little bit of damage to the pivot, so we're going to go ahead and use the whole kit. The brakes are pretty rusty and the pads are pretty thin, so we're going to get a brake rebuild kit. We got all new brake parts, uh, shoes and pads and hubs for the front and rear. Uh, we got new rotors and new pads. Because your need for speed is greatly exceeded. And then repack the wheel bearings. By your necessity to stop. New back seals. Had to have new drums and shoes on the back. Here we have a new bumper cover for the rear, and then the front bumper cover is the original, which is in really good shape. Had a couple spots on it that I've repaired and got it in primer, so it's ready for paint. And then uh, they mold restoration supplied us with a, a new hood. We got all the original window moldings here. I've repainted them and got them ready to install. Correct GT spoiler. The original paint is so correct and nice. It's a single stage paint back in 88. So I'm gonna paint all these parts in a single stage as well. Poor birds can't take a bath anymore. Now, one thing you do have to watch is in the corner there, there's a little bit of a rubber part that sticks out and that actually slides into that roof rail molding. Pops in the place. We also got on eBay and found a set of original turbine wheels. Little road grime on them still. They need a good washing. But they don't have no curb marks or nothing on them. Coke Retire in Chattanooga, Tennessee donated a set of BF Goodrich radial TAs that are period correct. Factory side stripes, also known as accent stripes, on the 88 Mustang GT are actually decals that follow the grooves inside the moldings in sections around the car. With the exception of the doors, which are really thick rubber and not vinyl, but look the same. So is this car gonna look like a new car? Yeah, it'll look just like pretty much as new as you can make it look and without doing a total restoration and basically have a car that's reliable and that she can drive or if she wants to sell, has a better value than a car that's been tampered with. Now we we clean the mud and the dust and stuff <laughs> off it, but not much more. You know we we can't put a whole lot of work in that thing. My gosh. I know. What it's do you think expensive. we are, Mustang restorers or something? <laughs> yes, I think you are. Okay, I had the feeling Malia figured we'd done a lot more than just clean the car up. Even so, this had to be a big surprise from what the car looked like before. Now, do you see the car? Wow. What? <laughs> yes, I see the car. Oh, that looks so good. To me, she sounded surprised in a polite way, so what was going on? It has a different scoop. Or, is that a scoop? A thin? A spoiler. Spoiler. That's, that's not mine. No, that's the stopper. I was at the start one. Yeah. So that's not my car. She didn't recognize her own car. It, it just looked so different and no wheels on yet. We finally had to tell her, that's your car. Is that my car and you put that on there? 
that looks so much better. You see that paint? Yeah. I mean, oh. see that's just buffed out. Oh really? You're kidding? Yeah. Oh, I just can't believe it. Put all the original this emblems the on. You put new brakes. So we got new shoes and pads for front and rear. New hubs, new rotors for the front. Do we need new brakes? Yeah, they were pretty rusty. Oh, they were? Sitting so long. That engine. Wow. Put the original stock intake, valve cover, the stock air box. Got everything where it's reliable. Changed all the fluids, the oil, the coolant. We got a new fuel pump. Okay. And we got a new cowl panel across there. Well, we thought you'd like to see the final touches. He likes uh, about an hour and a half on it. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Totally amazing. I mean, when I saw the paint, I couldn't hardly believe it. You didn't think it was my car either, did you? No. Yeah. Do you need help, Jason? Leah is actually a car person and wanted to turn a few bolts, so we let her sort of ceremoniously here. Are you sweating? Yes, <laughs> a bunch <laughs> to go with the tears. Our cat's back. Hello. <laughs> he likes to just lay around in here. I so, think he misses Troy too, don't you? Really? Is that cat that old? Uh-huh. Yes, he's pretty old. Wow. And he keeps going and going and going. So this black cat was around when Troy was around in 06? Yes, yes. Troy named him. 